What's up, people? This is Dr. Patrick with Human First Health Movement, and uh, we're going to take a, uh, a PVC pipe here. Um, you can also use a broom handle or whatever else you have um, on hand, but we're going to use this to do some shoulder flossing. Um, I call them uh, typewriters, okay? Because they look like a typewriter if you are familiar with that ancient technology. So we're going to put it behind our head right here. It's going to sit on our traps right above the vertebra that sticks out the most right in the back. That's usually T1, C7, okay? So it sits right up here. My wrists are gonna flop on top. So this is not what we're doing because here I can cheat. My wrist can go forward, which means that I'm not doing as much external rotation if my wrist can do this. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm not gonna be here resting my wrists on top, which is forcing my shoulder into deeper external rotation. From here, I'm gonna slide all the way to the right slide all the way to the left. So notice this guy comes out, snakes out, but this one is actually doing most of the work. I'm squeezing my shoulder blade right here all the way in and back as I rotate this way, and then squeezing this shoulder blade as I switch that, okay? And then once it feels pretty comfortable, you just slide back and forth, squeezing that shoulder blade one at a time, and then when you are a champion at that, drop it down one notch, and then slide, 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 drop it down a notch, and you should be able to get pretty low if you get really good at this, uh, and that really builds our external rotation as well as it opens up the chest a lot. So go ahead and try that out, don't hurt yourself.